Hi and welcome to the Chris Miller Club Magic Workshop. Today we'll be demonstrating one of the oldest tricks in magic. This is known as the cups and balls routine. Now I've been in magic uh, ever since I was a young boy and practiced or performed magic for the past 13 years as a professional, but I've never had a cups and ball routine in my act. I think the biggest reason is because I, in my mind I think that every kid has seen the cups and balls or had it uh, from a purchase of a magic kit or something uh, and they know exactly how the trick is done. It involves three cups and four balls. This version is completely different. There was a magician named Michael Amar. He took some of the, the greats in magic's routine and put them together and formed his own and this is uh, actually his version of it. Now it involves the props at hand which you have a beautiful bag which contains three solid brass cups. Now these brass cups are real sentimental. They belong to my grandfather who was a magician back in the early 40s and 50s and he passed them on to me after he died. Uh, but it, they are three identical brass cups. You can hear from the sound of the cup they are completely, completely the same, especially this one. But the, the, the cups are solid brass. I wouldn't want to cheat you. You can see that, that, that there's no way to penetrate. Penetrate, that was just a gag. It goes, <laughs> there's nothing that can penetrate the solid brass cup. But what you do to start the trick is you actually take and tap your hand. Ooh, when you do two things happen, one, a little bruise appears, and two, a solid cork ball. Now this cork ball has a beautiful white coat and it sets on top of ball cup number one. Now for the second ball, you spin your wand twice and on the second spin you tap and another cork ball appears. Now with cups and balls you can do several things. One thing you can do is you can actually push the ball to where it penetrates the cup. You can, once again, I'll do that once again just in case you didn't see it. I can slap it and it actually penetrates the cup. But in either event, you take ball number two and ball number two goes on cup number two. Now for ball number three, ball number three you just want to spin your wand three times and on the third time that you spin, you tap and the ball actually appears on the cup. One, two, and three. Now the trick really gets good because you take the balls one at a time, place them in your hand, place the wand through the ball, tap, and the ball completely vanishes. Now I did that a little quick and you may not know what to look for, so I'm going to do it one more time. What I'm going to do is exactly the same thing. I'm going to take the ball, I'm going to pass the wand over the ball, and when I do, the ball completely vanishes. One more time. This time we'll do an uh, open hand vanish to where you can actually see as I tap, the ball just completely vanishes. And when it vanishes, it reappears underneath the cup. And if that one came back, then this one should have come back, and this one come back just as well. Now, that in itself is a really good trick. Three solid balls appear from midair. Now we're going to get real interesting. We're going to take and actually get rid of one of the balls. We'll get rid of one of the balls, and we'll get rid of one of the cups. Now we'll also get rid of the one. Now we just work with the two cups and the two balls. We'll take and place each ball under its prospective cup, snap, and whenever we do, the ball disappears from here and it reappears under this cup. So now you have the two balls and the two cups. We'll, we'll make this a little more interesting and we'll get rid of another one of the balls and we'll actually get rid of another one of the cups as well. <laughs> now we'll take and just work with what we have here is the one cup and the one ball. Now if we take this ball, we can actually take the ball and throw it through the top of the cup to where it penetrates. I can put it in this pocket and the ball just penetrates or comes right back. It goes in this pocket, <coughs> excuse me, and again it just it comes right back. It, it doesn't seem to matter which pocket I, I put it in, but the ball itself just keeps coming back one after another. <coughs> If you watch it very closely, you'll see that what happens is, is I take, we're going to do it a little bit different. We're going to place the ball here. We'll take and reintroduce these two cups into the mix. We'll place one here and one here. Now, would you think it was pretty cool if I could make this ball jump into either one of those two cups that you wanted? Very well. We'll get rid of that one, and we'll make the ball reappear inside of, oops, sorry, that's not the ball, that's the lemon. Um, well maybe, no, that's a lime, what's, and an onion, <laughs> looks like we got the making of a good margarita, and if that's the case, then this bud's for you. That's a real cool cups and ball routine, I hope you enjoyed it. On the next video, I'll show you exactly how the trick is done, step by step. Thanks for watching.